Hello and welcome along and welcome to Whole Macra. It is day six of spring, so we're six days into this uh, and we've got quite a nice logging area coming here. Uh, we do need to get rid of these stumps. These are beginning to become a little bit of trouble. So we're going to be using the Lumberjack mod today to get rid of these. Um, as I said, we've got we've got a bit that we want to, to use for that. Um, we've got uh, some interesting levels and things here, so I think we might level this area out, but... We are now definitely in uh, in a setup where we can start to to create our logging area and see what we need to uh, any further stuff we need to remove. Uh, so uh, yeah, let's get started with these uh, stuff. So what we've got is we've got the lumberjack mod. You can see we've got the uh, target on all the time with this, and we can also come here to stumps and just use our chainsaw to get rid of them. Uh, a fantastic feature of this mod. Highly recommend it if you're going to do uh, logging like we are. It's just a yeah, absolutely brilliant thing. Um, obviously, yes, you could get a stump grinder as well, which is good. We do actually have a stump grinder here that we're not using, uh, which I'm going to go and return. Uh, we might try and throw it in the back of the pickup, I think, and head down to the shop. Um, there's not much else we've got for that though. Uh, I want to get these last few logs on. We've got rid of all the logs that we need to. Uh, I think we've got rid of all the logs that we need to do for uh, the. Oh, there we go. Uh, uh, that we need to wood chip. So those should all be cleared now, and it really is a case of expanding ourselves out from here. Now, this is quite, we've got several levels on this at the moment. I think we want to sort of level this out a bit. So, we're going to do that today. Once we've got these logs collected up. Now, you can see here, I don't think any of these can be picked up. No, all of these are, uh, are too heavy for us. So, we want to load them into our trailer. Uh, I also want... Yeah, I think we want to drop that off. So what we'll do is uh, is we'll get our trailer over here and make this as easy to load up as we can. And then in the meantime, I want to disconnect that and put our normal flatbed on the back. Oh, we've got one there as well. Get rid of that before we forget. There we are. And uh, we could actually, the reason, to be honest, that I want to put the flatbed on this, uh, or the, not the flatbed, sorry, the, the standard bed on this, because uh, we don't use it enough. So, uh, yeah, we'll leave this. Oh, we're going to move that as well later. We might be able to tow that into our, uh, into our area. Or we might do one that's static. I don't know if I've actually got the static ones on here. Uh, let's see, maybe under miscellaneous, there's that one, but that's not this, yeah, here we go, so these, I'm thinking about installing one of these in our area, be quite cool, we could put it so that it's at this end of the, the area, and just basically do that, and then return the other one, let's see how much, so that's 51,000, so these would actually be more expensive, we might leave that for now. Um, but yeah, we're going to move that into the logging camp at some point. We are 66,000 at the moment. Um, I'm half tempted to remove 500,000 from our kitty and just go, right, we're, we are essentially doing a start from scratch now because we've done pretty well on that level um, to make sure that we are in that position. Right, and um, what I want to do now is jump out, and we should be able to unfold the bed, and then pick this up and put it in. So, yeah, we're not going to be using that. We'll put that in there. Uh, we will do that down. We'll probably close the bed over the top. I like that it doesn't move, so that is, actual poss is actually possible to clamp that down. That is brilliant. Really, really work, great work there from um, uh, North Modern Company. It's a really interesting mix of stuff we've got here. Right, let's get these uh, bits. So, into 
Oh, very large pinnacle. And we want to switch over at the moment. We're on the rear bit. Yeah, there we go. I'm considering replacing this actually. How much is this worth at the moment? Uh, so the cable weight is 199,979. And to replace it with the non cable version, wow, we'd lose 20,000. <laughs> because we've used this, we've used this 1.5 hours. And we're gonna lose a lot of money if we uh, if we replace it with the non-cable version. That's really weird. I didn't think we'd use that much. Or maybe, or maybe if we took it down and we could replace it, and do a straight swap. Yeah, we might drive this down to our uh, bit and uh, and see if we can do a straight swap. Now, interesting thing, people were telling me after last time. Uh, is that uh, the reason why none of the logging bits seem to work very well in farm sim uh, is because in real life what would happen is uh, is your forks would dig into the ground to dig under the logs uh, and then you'd uh, then you just put the logs uh, and then you just pick up the logs from underneath so that's why they don't work so well here because they can't get under the logs in the first place how did that happen I thought I had that pretty well. Right, what I'm going to try and do then is push. Oh, nope, not far enough down. Right, let's try that one. Nope. Right, we had to push it into the end. It's not having any of it. So open this up. Yeah. Closing it, open it. Oh, really? You're just gonna sort of mess on there. That's alright, it's on. What we're gonna do is very carefully come to the end here and just push these on. You see the, the sunlight moving along? It's it's because we've, we've created a clearing that uh, the sun is very difficult to get into. Uh, because it's still surrounded on all sides by trees. Push that log on. There we go. And then we want to do the same with one below it. Get into a position I can actually see it. Push it on. There we go. So yeah, plan is just to load this up. Get these on here and... Uh, go from there and start leveling our logging area or our logging camp and putting stuff in that is going to be useful for us. I think we need a shed uh, so I want to put a shed in for our equipment. Um, I want to put in, uh, as I said, I want to put in some space where we can use our wood chipper. Um, I want to be able to transport stuff back so we're going to be looking at probably getting a new piece of equipment. Uh, that will allow us to, uh, to transport wood back to here to load it up and then to uh, ready for transport later. Which we've probably actually got roughly in this setup already with our truck and our trailer. But we've got nowhere really to offload it. Um, especially if we're looking to... Uh, well, I suppose we could, we could bring it back in two different batches. So one batch is stuff that we can pick up and uh, and we would chip and then the other batch is stuff that we can't pick up and uh, and we were gonna we'll take straight down to uh, the cell point come on close it up there we go these hold long enough for me to load these in so yeah having cleared these out we're gonna quickly run down sell off these logs sell off our other bit and actually we might take most of these pieces of equipment down there and uh, and just see if we can uh, open up there we go and that's in perfect uh, yeah we might we might see how much this is worth down there because we don't all oh, the other thing we need up here of course is a workshop maybe we can put a workshop shed in that would be quite useful 
Right, this does not work with follow me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the Huddig down there first. Uh, and then we're going to go and uh, bring the truck down after that. So uh, I will see you down there with our truck in a moment. And down with the tra uh, with our uh, TLX. Let's get this into the yard where the Huddig is waiting for us. I'm going to sell the wood off first. Uh, and then we'll go through and we'll sell off the attachment. Rather impressed that, yeah, that has stayed absolutely put in that bed. Uh, which has been brilliant. Uh, this is... Oh, hit the right button and undo those. And then sell this off. There you go, 11,000 for that. Uh, and then we're just going to take this round. We should be able to just drive through here and select it in here. Because, we, yeah, we just have not used that stump grinder and we are not going to be using that stump grinder. So, nope. There it is. We can't sell that. We just... Ah, oh, this is the thing. This is not a selling workshop. This is just a repair workshop. I don't think there is actually a selling workshop on this map. So we just have to straight up sell, which kind of answers my question about the Hadig. Um, we're going to lose 20,000 if we sell that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we can't just up, straight up sell that. That will be coming back up with us. We will sell the stump grinder, which is a pity. I, I really wish that I could sell things properly on here. We will just drive this in and check. I mean, we've got attachments and things on it. But, uh, yeah. I kind of... I keep getting the cable um, bits on here. And, uh, and, yeah, causing issues. But I don't think we can actually... Nope. There it is. Yeah, we can't sell it in here. It doesn't let me... Uh, we might as well repair it while we're here. Oh, no, now we can sell it. Oh. Uh, wow, 240,000. Uh, yes. We will actually make 20,000 replacing that. So, yes. Okay. Now we've got fun because we've got to pick these two bits up from in here. But that is not what I expected. So, let's grab ourselves a new headache, which is this one here, the city. Um... I want to get it in. Now, there are all sorts of mad colours we can get this in. There's Huddy Gold. Oh, is that... A, I thought I saw a Huddy Green there. Uh, we could get it in the... Oh, that's really nice. I like that green. I think those are already in the Huddy Black. And it's... Oh, wow, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, but we could go with the Huddig yellow on the design bit. That is pretty cool. Uh, the alternative is to go for the Huddig yellow on the rims and the design colour in the basic black. Actually, I like that. That fits in with our motif so much nicer. Uh, so we'll go with that type is city. Or rail, we're going to go city, uh, floor mat configuration, floor mat textile. Uh, I think we'll go for standard and light configuration. Uh, light configuration plus beacon. Yep, perfect. Uh, that will give us good visibility when it's quite dark. 225,000, that is still less than 240,000 we sold the other one for. And we know this works better with seasons. So, uh, yeah, just, yeah, we're going to go with that. We can immediately sell it if it's a problem, but it does have, <coughs> it does have different tires. Yeah. So yeah, there we go. So big tires, rail, big tires, rail, Notkins rail, uh, tracks. Wow. That is pretty cool, but I think we're going to go with these. I want the standard tyres on here, and that's what I missed last time. Right, so there we go. 
And again, yeah, that isn't connected. That isn't connected. Now that will connect. And that will connect once I pull it in, pull it across. Whoa! That is the trouble with this. Right, lift it up. Fold it up. Now, this one will work with follow me, but uh, we're not there at the moment, so. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Maybe that will fall into line at some point. Uh, but yeah, now we've got this slightly simplified version. We, we didn't need the... Uh, oh, wow. There we go. Uh, we didn't need the uh, actual uh, cradle. It was something I was considering trying to use the, uh, the chainsaw with. But in actual fact, this pretty much does everything we need it to. So uh, yeah, I'm going to get this back up to our... Thing up to our oops, main base and then we'll uh, we'll get our truck up there and next time now I should be able to re-enable follow me on here and have it working so we've got our Huddig back up the top here and I think actually while I'm up here and I'm in a position where we don't have a lot of stuff up here. Let's turn this off. And um, I think we're going to just try and level this area off now. Uh, so that it's uh, it's it's a little bit... What I want to do is level this here. Uh, and sort of give us a nice level area. Which will drop off a bit. So, purchase. Landscape. Start landscaping. And... The control I want is to flatten. So we're going to take our flattening point from this level here. It's quite a, a level area anyway. And just go like this. So it's going to drop some bits. And we will, what we'll do eventually is we'll uh, we'll smooth off these edges, but I just want to bring it. Now this is gonna cost us a little bit, not as much as you might think. Right, we're gonna smooth the edges now. Yeah, there we go. So I don't want this. While I want this to be a plateau, I don't want it to be a sharp drop off. So that we got a nice area around here. And this is the whole thing of... Uh, this fits into the whole building your own farm thing, really. We're building our own logging camp. Right. And then over here, we're just going to... I want to smooth this area out. Give ourselves a good journey up to our road. And then that is that is going to be our entrance in there and again oh got stuck just sort of smooth this all out so that we have the the best entrance way in we can like so right and then we want to change our ground type so uh we're gonna go with not mud mud we want dirt i think yeah that so we'll bring that in off the road. Right, so round and round our logging camp. Uh, and then that drop, that actually is not as severe a drop there as it looks. But we'll bring this all round and just sort of give this. A very rough sort of area. Build.
building our logging camp. Yeah. This is cool. This is this is what I wanted to do with this. This is how I wanted to approach this. Is to, to sort of build our way up. Get ourselves a nice logging area and uh, and put some stuff in. Right, so we have roughly 80,000 to play with. Let's see what buildings we can add in to our uh, area for this. So buildings, 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 sheds. I think we need a shed. I would prefer to have a shed that... Oh, what's this? 2,000 for this. Oh, wow. How do we put... This is, this is a proper... This is a proper logging camp shed. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. All in one go, putting this in is just exactly really what I want to be doing. And if we can get it right, like that, yeah, that might work. Like so. Right, and then we need to, uh, we do need to then, and that was not expensive at all. Uh, change type. Smooth it out. And hopefully that will fit there. Yeah. It's quite a drop off at that corner. So what I want to do is I'm just going to pull that round and then smooth around there and then we can have a look at that let's go and have a look there we are look at that wow i like that a lot we have got a tree here so that is gonna have to go and what I'll do is I'm going to chip this tree. I'll take that that way. Away it goes. Uh, and then we can cut that there. There we go. That tree is okay. Everything else is alright. Uh, we kind of probably actually need to take that tree as well. So we'll do that too. So, I might go that way. Perfect. And what I'm going to do is we're going to bring our... Oh, there we go. Now, how can we do this with various... I mean, we've got space now here to store logs. We can store longer logs as well. Uh, we've got space to store stuff under. I would doubt... I actually doubt that we're going to fit... The hudding under that. Let's give it a try, though. This may be our downfall. Actually, no. No, not at all. Look at that. That isn't going to fit under that one. But if we put the rear bit down, it is going to fit under that one. That does mean bringing the whole thing right in. Yeah. Oh, it may not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if I'm... Uh, depending on how I approach it, by the looks of things. Uh, if we drop the back bit off, it def we can definitely fit that under there. But uh, yeah, that'll be good for storing bits and pieces and uh, gives us a good logging area, really. Oh, let's get that into filled gear and I'm going to bring our truck back up here. To have 583,000 left up here is quite an achievement, I think. Um, and now to have space to put all of our stuff away, uh, I'm very pleased about. We can uh, put our locking trailer in here. I think we might have to add a little bit of flare and stuff to
to this, but this is uh, this is definitely an area that is looking all the better for us having uh, put some extra stuff in. Uh, the other thing I want to do is bring that back here. And we're just going to... We now have somewhere... Although we're stuck in the locking trailer. We now have somewhere where we can... There we go. Store these bits. Oh! To avoid that and driving straight into it. So let's hook up this and we can get this back in as well. And I'd say this has been pretty successful. We are set up with a logging camp. We are in the we've got a home base. Although I am considering selling the tent off and replacing it with uh I think we have a log cabin. We might have a little log cabin we can put in its place. Um, just to sort of add to the whole thing and uh, sort of move it out of the way a little bit. I, I think that's a little bit in the way there, but we're good. Otherwise, we've got space to store stuff. We're, we're all good here. In fact, we can store... S uh, I know how we can use that, that log storage area. That log storage area is actually going to be really useful. Right, there we go. And I need to put one of these trailers back on because we need to now... Well, actually, I want to try something with the Huddick. So let's put this back here. Jump out. Oh, right up. Right up to it. Tow. Well, we want to see if we can drive that down this slope now. So, start it up. Move it along. It's got... Um, it needs connecting up to something, really. But I don't think our hitch is high enough on this to do it. Give it a shot. Because I can't tow this all the way back up here. The, the amount of power that took to get that up here in the first place is ridiculous. And, oh yeah, we can attach it. It's, it's taken our hudding right off the ground. But, now, oh, okay. Right, we might be able to just drive it. And I think without the stuff on the back, what we're going to have to do is get the Huddig and give it a good shove. The alternative is to hook the Huddig up to it, but I, I don't think we're going to have much more success. And we'd have to take a lot... Well, we could just... don't know if that will actually hook up to it. I don't know if we've got the space either. So, uh, yeah, we can hook trailers and things up to this. So let's very carefully just nudge this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we just needed to nudge it over the lip was what we needed. Right, and I think I'm going to place this. Uh, and this is why I wanted to have the edges to be... Uh, easy to or, or not just massive drop-offs because we can turn around down here in the woodlands bring it back and then get things like this in this space here we should be able to if that wasn't quite such a huge leap there we're all right here i think yeah there we go um and actually i want that the other way around so my turning round was fairly pointless. Yeah, let's bring this round here like this. I'm going to put this to the side along here. And then we can just 
use it on the side here and fill up when we want. Which is great. And if we put it here, it's not going to get in the way. And we are all good. Well, we're going off the steep bit, but we're all good. There we go. And that is now somewhere where we can just put our trailer underneath and, uh, and be all good. Perfect. Right, and leave that there. And we'll go and grab the honey, get that back. And as I said, I think we'll have to take off the rear bit in order to. Uh, oh, actually, no, I've got another idea. Extend out the rear bit. So we'll take this, turn that off. Extend that, extend that down. That should allow us to go under here. Yep. Park this in here. I don't think it'll. Um... Uh, no, not quite. So we'll just put that in there like so. And that is all parked up. Just jump in and out. And there we go. We have a brand spanking new area here for that. Let's just check, is there anything else that we want? Uh, miscellaneous. As I said, that is. those are going to be quite useful at some point. We've got an automatic sell point we could do here. We've got some small log holders. But otherwise, that's pretty good. Oh, we were going to put a vehicle workshop in, weren't we? So we've got a workshop there. Uh, and we can put in a pressure washer as well. Is the other thing. Uh... Just having a look through here. Silos, there's nothing there. Decoration, there's a few bits. There's a log holder. We can put some of that stuff down. We could put on the top here. Actually, not a simple gate. I'm going to put a double gate. Full height and across where my track is. Yep there let's try this again yeah there we go and they are nicely above ground now as well perfect there we go wow uh farmhouse so we've got the choice now uh this is oh this is the little log farmhouse i want to put in how big is it it's that big it's that big but we might be able to we have the money to put this in at this point, and oh, we could put it in there. Right, so we're going to sell our uh, tent. We have grown beyond the tent by the end of spring, and we're going to put our farmhouse in. Yeah, that one. Turn it. We want to get it down to that level there because we're going to even that out in a moment. Uh, in fact, no, let's even that out first because otherwise we're going to have a terrible time of trying to do that. So take this, start landscaping and here and across. Just sort of, yeah. And then we're going to smooth out the edges. So that our entrance is nice and smooth down to it. And then put in our farmhouse like so. So 
Right, so we can either put it right back here, or I think I favor over here. Yeah, like that. There. Look at that. So there we go. That is our yard. Nice and easy to get into. Uh, we've got lots of space. Uh, we've got, so shed wise, we could put another lean to in, but in general, I'm happy with that. Yeah, we've got these small wooden shelters as well that we can put one of those in if we wanted to, uh, which would also house our, um, that would probably house our Huddy quite nicely too, if we wanted, uh, but we would have to go over here somewhere with it. Like. Oh. so yeah and even then i don't think that's going to house the hudding so i think we're good for that uh two things we need then uh the first is i think a pressure washer is a very important thing for us uh, we can put one of these just i would say just here maybe so that we can wash all of our equipment rather nicely and we'll move the uh, bit out of here and the other thing we're going to need which we don't have at the moment which i don't think we've got a placeable version of uh oh no we do here we go is a fuel tank so uh, i want to put one of those in and we'll put one of those in over here so that it's well away from the rest of our stuff uh, but very accessible like so and uh, oh yeah we want to change the ground texture below it like so and take that down and i want to switch to that there we go yep perfect Really like that. Uh, couple of bits of that round there. Maybe put some grass around. Yeah. Can we go smaller? We can't go smaller. And there we are. Oh, no, that's not what I want. Just sort of bring those patches in a bit. And this is the thing, it's the little details like this, the little bits that make all the difference in these areas. Uh, you just want to kind of, you know, Make it that little bit more. Ah, no, all the way through, come on. There we go. There we are. And that is our logging camp. That is awesome. I'm so pleased that we've, we've made it to this point. We can now... Uh, we don't have a workshop. I'm going to go and look for a workshop. Or uh, we might put some um, workshoppy stuff in here. But in general, that I love. That is brilliant. And that is our logging camp. So, uh, yeah. I think that is where we are going to leave this video today. So, with our digging frame. All that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for all the latest videos from virtual farmer please subscribe to the channel ring that bell and i will see you next time goodbye